This is my beautiful mother. My everything. That's Big Michael. I'm Little Michael. I'm named after my mother. Do that make me a junior ed? She is all that I am. I am because of her. I love her so much. That's my best friend. I, I'm her only son. She got all girls. I'm the only boy. All the girls are right hand. I'm left hand like my mama. The Michaels. Michael Ann and Michael Allen. You know, how many men can say they named after their mama? I love this woman with all that I am. She the only one that can get me together and check me. I had to trick her into taking this picture too. I said, let's go to church. Let's both wear white. Then I said, stop by this studio. And she was like, well, stop it for what? When they wanted her to take pictures, she was so mad. But look at it. She did it for me. That's my ace boom comb, my mama. She picked out the background and everything. That's Michael Ann. She'll be 71 in September. Work girl. And that's me. I'm her favorite child. Of course. Always. The Michaels. Michael Ann, Michael Allen. Peace. Mm -hmm. What up, what up, what up, my 4C gang? This is Cooking with Comedian Michael Allen. 4Cs, that means we do comedy, cooking, cussing, and cocktails. What up, babies? How y'all doing? 4C life for life. All right, y'all. Y'all know I made some uh, macaroni and cheese and some greens the other day. So today, I said, you know what? See, this is what you have to learn how to do when you cook it. You got to learn how to stretch meals. So I said, you know what? I can do some more greens and some more macaroni and cheese. Boom. All I got to do is wet it, warm that up. So I said, you know what I'm going to do, but I'm going to add to it some fried chicken and some sweet potatoes. Bam. With some cornbread. Come on, y'all. So look, anyway, I'm coming here real quick. This is how to cook the chicken video. I'm using some, it's already clean and washed. I'm using some seasoned salt lorries. This is Tiffany Haddish right there, see? She ready? Okay, of course, I got me some Western oil. I use Western oil, vegetable oil, or canola oil. Okay, so now I'm putting a little, see, I'm putting a lot of seasoning, but I'm putting a little bit of each, right? So now I'm gonna put some onion powder. I'm gonna put some steak seasoning, just steak seasoning. See, just a little bit of it. Some parsley, I love parsley, so I go hard on the parsley. Okay, then we're gonna add some oregano. Then we're gonna add some MSG, which is nothing but accent. You notice I'm not putting a lot of each one. Some tropical sesame, some soul food seasoning, and some Tony's Creole seasoning. All right. So, and last but not least, I can't make any chicken without sasson. That's what gives it that pretty orange color. Oh, the chicken looks so good in my water. Okay, so I thought I'd wait a minute. Now, all you're gonna do is, you gotta play with your meat, you gotta touch it. Oh, I gotta put some black pepper. Oh God, I can't believe I forgot my black pepper. I love black pepper. Okay. So, I have to wash that off. So you're gonna play with this meat. See, you gotta get in there, get it dirty. Now, a lot of people like to fry their meat with their wings open. I don't, I like to fold mine in after I season them. You know, just after I season them. You see that pretty color, these wings, not only are gonna, they're gonna look good, they're gonna taste even better than they look. Now, you can rub your chicken with lemon if you want to give it that lemon fate. You can clean your chicken with lemon and also, you can rub it down with lemon. Okay, you see that? That's all together, that's ready. They ready.
now. I've peeled and rinsed my sweet potatoes. Since I'm gonna make sweet potatoes, let me stand up. You wanna cut your, as y'all can see, y'all see my Detroit piss, I mean, lion's knife and cutting board. Thanks to my big sis. She always, she spoiled her little baby brother. Okay, this, she sent me this when we first met. Um, I taught her how to make empanadas. Okay, so you wanna cut these in a quarter inch thick. I hate sweet potatoes that are too mushy and fall apart, almost like mashed potatoes. If I want mashed potatoes, I'll get mashed potatoes. So I want them to stay whole and Gotta concentrate. So, here you just do that and cut this one. See, about a quarter inch thick, right? Okay, so I'm gonna rinse them one more time. I only need one because it's just me. So I'm gonna rinse them real, real, real good. Okay. So we got those rinsed, right? So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna season them up. I'm gonna put a little cinnamon in there. I'm gonna put a couple of drips of vanilla extract. Oh, that smells good already. Okay. I'm gonna put a little bit of honey. Come on, honey. Come on, honey. The honey want to take forever to come out. Come on. Give me some of that honey. I ain't never had to beg for honey like this. I used to get all the honey I want with my cute self. Okay. So, that's enough honey. Then we're going to put a little bit of allspice in there. Hold on. I got to go grab one thing right quick. Hold on one minute. I don't know why I didn't just push them. I had to get an orange out of my fruit bowl. Right? So, hold on one minute, you guys. Ooh. Okay, so now we're gonna put a little bit, you can put lemon zest, I like orange zest in mine. You don't wanna go all the way down to the white. See that zest coming out of here? It, I'm telling you, it takes your sweet potatoes to the next level. You can use orange or lemon. I like orange a little better. See, that's all you need. We're going to just, that orange zest is going to do the thing. So then we're going to add some brown sugar. I'm gonna add some brown sugar to it. I like sweet. I like my sweet. Okay, and you're not gonna have to add really any water because the sugar and all of that will make its own water. Now I'm gonna put some regular white granulated sugar. All right. And then we're gonna put a Half a stick of this butter in there. I'll probably use more butter. I'm gonna just start it off with that. Matter of fact, I better just go ahead and put some in here now, huh? About that much butter. This is a fattening dish, I'm telling you. You trying to stay skinny, don't do that. And I'm just gonna put a little teeny water just to cover the bottom. And I'm gonna put it on the stove. Put it on low, and that is ready. See, all I gotta do is I'm gonna cover it up and just let it cook and do its thing. Now I'm about to, see this is the key to good fried chicken. You see how that flour soaked in? Now you wanna reflour it and then you're gonna throw all your flour right into the Okay, I, re I put them back in the flour again. Now I'm gonna put them into the waiting grease. You have to have Good fried chicken is two keys to good fried chicken. A cast iron skillet, 
Oh, if you don't have one, always invest in it. And um, cast iron skillet and your grease on the right temperature. It has to be on the right temperature. If it's too high, you're gonna burn. It's not gonna cook through. So you gotta do it right. Okay, my poor C gang, here is the finished product. I made some sweet potatoes. I warmed up that mac and cheese, collard greens, some cornbread, and that golden fried chicken. Won't he do it? So look, y'all, this is my cooking it video. Watch my next video I'm about to do of me eating it. Thank you, poor C gang. Coming with comedian Michael Allen, what we do. Cussing, comedy, cooking, and cocktails. Peace, poor, gang for, poor C gang for life.